Hello and welcome to another video for Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at something that is very, very old and very, very rare. Now, this particular item, there's two versions. There's a blue and a white version. Uh, the blue version is the common one. The white one is the rare one. And this particular one we're looking at today is of the white thrust, thrush buster Oldsmobile. Um, which was seen in the 1960s television serial um, The Man From U.N.C.L.E., uh, which starred Robert Vaughan and David McCallan as um, Napoleon Solo and Ilya Kuryakin, um, which were, they were basically, one was American, one was Russian, um, and they were spies that had been put together um, by Uncle um, to team up to battle the um, the evil Thrush. Um, Thrush was the the group of baddies that were all teamed up to battle against um, the man from Uncle. Now there was a hundred and five episodes made, um, and they were that was um, over four seasons. And each one was about 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes, depending on the adverts. Um, and uh, the initial airing was from September 1964 through to January 1968. Uh, there was also a spin-off, actually, which was uh, called The Girl From Uncle. And that starred Stephanie Powers as The Girl From Uncle. And there was some crossover in that where the... Um, the um, uh, Men from Uncle did actually sometimes appear in the Girl from, Girl from Uncle TV series. Okay, so this is, as usual, I've digressed, but here we are. This is the item in front of us. Uh, and this is the box it comes in, and it says, The Man from Uncle Gun Firing Thrust Buster. Um, that's uh, and there's the artwork image. I'm just going to pick this up and bring us towards the camera a little bit. There's an artwork image of Napoleon Solo and Ilya Kuryakin in the car. If I just turn the box to the bottom, it's got Call Your Toys, Napoleon Solo driving and firing, and Ilya Kuryakin gunning for Thrush. 1966 Metro Gold Mare Inc. Diecast scale models, Playcraft Toys Limited, London. It's Call Your Logo, made in Great Britain. Over the other side is that. So again, the Man From Uncle logo, Gun Fire and Thrust Buster, um, and the same image. And on the opposite side, again, you've got Call Your Toys, Napoleon Solo driving and firing, Ilya Kuryakin gunning, gunning for thrust. Uh, copyright 1966 Metro Gold Mare Inc. Diecast scale models, Playcraft Toys Limited, made in Great Britain. And at the end... Call Your Toys, 497, The Man From Uncle, Gun Fire and Thrush Buster. And the same at the other end, I think, yep. Uh, Call Your Toys, 497, The Man From Uncle, Gun Fire and Thrush Buster. And this box is a very, very worn and old. It's not in the greatest of conditions. Um, okay, that's the box. I'm just going to open it. And there we have the plinth inside. So that's just, I'm actually going to do this off camera because it is quite a tight fit inside the box. Okay, so I've removed the model from the box and you've got this um, display plinth. Now, I'm pretty certain, I'm just going to remove the model from the box. I'm just going to move the, the Waverly ring. I'm pretty certain that this is a reproduction one. It's too good condition to be new um, and it just yeah the the text on it is too blurry i think to be um original so that appears to be a a re, re uh, uh what's what i call it a um reproduction plinth um which is a shame really because i mean that's now me brought me to the question the question in the box is the box original or is the box actually a reprint um, and this box is very worn but now I'm looking at it in details um, it, either that has been torn and put back together again or it maybe is uh, a reproduction box 
box. So I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm, I'm pretty certain that this is a reproduction box, a reproduction plinth, but I'm not 100% sure about the box. Um, it looks very worn, so it does look very old, but the box may well still be a, re, a reproduction that's made to look that way. Anyway, I can tell you for sure the contents are original. Um, so, first of all, though, let's have a look at the plinth. So you've got an image of Robert Vaughan as uh, Napoleon Solo, and there's his signature there, driving and firing. It says gun thrush, gun firing thrush buster, the man from Uncle, and there's the image of the two in the car. And on this side, you've got an image of Ilya Kuryakin, as played by the late great David McCallum, um, and he's gunning for thrush. So it says your Waverly ring sits there, and your button, chef pointing the button at the top, and there's the slots for the wheels to sit in. Uh, Corgi Toys Gun Fry and Thrust Buster. Copyright 1966 Metro Golden Mare Inc. Let's turn it over the back then and let's try and read this because the reading is awfully um, blurry. So, this is the man from Uncle, Uncle United Network Command for Law Enforcement. United Network Commands for Law Enforcement. So, that's what Uncle stands for. Um, so it says, if we can just read this, let's try and just zoom in a little bit and see if we can read that. Okay. In New York, a few blocks from the United Headquarters HQ in a row of buildings commanding of a parking garage. Oh, can... can consisting of a parking garage and four displaced houses is the basement of one of these houses in a small tailor shop the secret entrance for uncle the houses act as camouflage for a modern three-story office building which is the heart brain and body of the organization pledged to protect the welfare and interests of people and nations anywhere in the world from the forces of evil. Uncle's personnel are highly trained young men and women uh, from many different races capable of operating the most fantastic equipment and and laughing. Is that laughing? and taking on the most dangerous top uncle, uh, sorry, dangerous missions. They have to speak a number of languages, including intelligence, the secret languages of uncle. Top uncle agent is Napoleon Solo, a calm, quick thinking man with an easy going manner, which hides his deadly efficiency. Ilya Karakin is in Solo's section and joins with him in many international operations. The Solo Karakin team is feared by even the largest and most organized evil forces and is responsible for many of the international successes of Uncle. Okay, and then, then the rest of it is in um, different languages. But I presume that all says the same. But it's very, very tiny writing. And I, I, I'm pretty certain, obviously, this is a reprint. And it just hasn't reprinted it very clearly. So, um, yeah, not overly impressed with, the, with the, the text on that. The display plinth, though, looks great. So if you put the, the model on the display thing, it looks absolutely perfect. Um, okay, so we've got the Waverly Ring. Let's have a look at the Waverly Ring. So the Waverly Ring uh, moves. So depending on which angle you're looking at it, You've got either Ilya Kuryakin, as you can see there, David McCallan, or you've got Napoleon Solo, um, there we go, as Robert Vaughan. Uh, both are sadly no longer with us, but both great, great actors. Um, and it's just a little clip-on ring um, that um, their boss Waverly wore, um, and that's basically a, a little side gimmick that came with the model. Um, and it was obviously it's one of those holograms that changes the image. Okay, so let's pop that back in the box. And now let's have a look at the Man from Uncle Thrustbuster. 
Um, now this, as I said, this is the white version, which is the rare version of the two colors. Um, they're identical models, but just different colors. So the popular one, or the most common one, I should say, was the blue one. Um, and every so often you do see a white one pop up, um, but it is quite rare. Okay, so on the bottom of the card, uh, or the car, I should say, it's got Oldsmobile Super 88, and you've got the Uncle logo, and it says, Call Your Toys, and you've got the, the painting and the copyright information at the bottom there. It says, Made in Great Britain, um, and it is all die-cast metal. The whole base is die-cast metal, grey metal. Uh, the wheels, obviously, are, are, are metal with uh, tyres on. The whole body of the car is also die-cast metal. I can't see any plastics on there other than the figures even the headlights which rotate um as you can see they move are metal there's no plastic bumpers or anything like that um the lights are just painted on so there's no um nothing there no, no plastic there either so it's a real good solid um model um you've got the button that pops the two um figures out um, and imitates the firing of the weapons and there you can see there's some bullet holes um, on the um, windscreen or bullet marks on the windscreen where they've been fired at um, and that's the only other plastic is the um, windows of course um, okay let's press a button so you can hear it clicking and if you you can just see where Kuriakin is popping out the side of the car on that side. On the right-hand side, you can see that um, Robert Vaughan or Napoleon Solo has already got his arm out, and when you press it, he slides over. Um, so you can see he slides in when you press the button. I mean, it's, it's, they don't come out that far, actually, uh, but I think the whole point was them to be quick, and and it's just the, the, the firing of the button, which... Um, is the gimmick um, and obviously you've got the free rolling wheels so you can move the car however you want and obviously you've got the man from uncle logo sticker which is still attached onto the bonnet so there we are let's get some measurements of this particular model which was always one of my favorites i think this was a great car back in the day because it done it did have the functionalities um, so we're looking at 11 centimeters long um, for the total length of the model um, if we measure the width across we're looking at a total of four centimeters and if we measure the height let's go from the bottom of the of the tire to the top of the button we're looking at four centimeters um, and like i say it is a four metal body top and bottom metal wheels rubber tires plastic windows and plastic figures and it's a yellow interior in the car if you can just see that um, and the, even the buttons are press uh, are metal and the, the lights which you can rotate uh, and point them in any direction you like are also metal okay now this particular model is in fantastic condition as you can see um, the paintwork is almost immaculate i'm looking to see there's a is that a minor chip at the front? Yeah, there is a, a little bit of paint loss at the very tip there, uh, back corner. That may well where it's been knocking inside the box. But other than that, it is in absolutely fabulous condition. Um, obviously for working and um, amazing stickers as well. Now, like I say, this is the rare model because it is the white version. So finding these models um in such good condition is a rarity but finding them this color is even more of a rarity and finding them with the waverly ring well i mean yeah you, it's just very very difficult do they come up for sale on the platforms remember we're talking from 1966 when these particular models were produced which is almost 60 years ago. It's 58 years ago since these were released. Um, so how often do they come up? Well, on the platforms, you see quite a lot of these models, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, they, they don't usually come boxed. However, 
I'm not saying I'm not 100% sure that this is an original box. I think the box is more. I look at the box, I think it's probably a reproduction, um, and the plinth is definitely a reproduction. Um, so what you find on the platforms is usually just loose models. Um, hardly ever find them with the Waverley ring, and finding the white ones is even harder. Um, but um, but there we are. Um, as I say, they do. You do see a few of them, but they're usually old, worn. The buttons don't work. The figures have fallen out, um, or there's scratches and damage. There's no stickers. Whatever. I mean, most of them are all sold as played with vehicles. Um, this particular one, well, it was a shop find. It was amongst a load of, of um, models that was um, on a display area. Um, and this was funny enough this was um, actually in a display cabinet that at one time must have been in the shop um, and was taken into the uh, back uh, probably because the, the the models in there are all quite old I and mean, we picked up probably I think there was probably at least 10 different old um, models uh, model vehicles that was in that display cabinet and this was one of them so if this is a if the box is um a reproduction is a very early one um, and the well the plinth definitely is a reproduction so I don't know how long ago this the the reproduction plinth was made um, but these models as I say have been in a, a, the back room for quite some time so um, it must be at least 10 years maybe 20 years um, so there we are um, but the model itself is in fantastic condition as you can see um, and the Waverley ring is fully functional and they all sit very nicely on the display plinth and display absolutely fantastically. Um, so, like I say, difficult to find, especially this particular colour. However, we at Minus Touch have this particular model available and that we have a few others. We've got the blue ones um, available also and um, a few of the white ones as well. And they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website. Which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website. We will be able to find this and many other vintage man from Uncle items. And many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that this is something that you will not want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for, something old that you're never able to find, something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, you should never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed reviewing this beautiful model with me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again next video. Bye for now.